Now, if like me, you're concerned about keeping uh, your cards and, and extra cash safe while you're out and about while you're traveling, then you might want to consider the Travel Hidden Waste Wallet from Lewis and Clark. Hi, I'm Arnie, and here we talk travel, we talk accessories, and we also talk camera gear. If you're into any of that, why don't you consider subscribing? Just click that big red subscribe button down below. Don't forget, click the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we do put up new content. And of course, make sure you check the uh, show notes down in the description below so that you can look, at, look for further details. Now, I've tried over the years old-fashioned money belts, kind of, you know, go around your waist. And uh, I found those to be kind of irritating, kind of got a little bit sweaty. I've also tried um, the neck wallets, which sounded like a good idea to me. But then every time you bend over something, there's, it's swinging around uh, inside your shirt. It becomes kind of obvious that you've got something in there. So neither one of them, I mean, in fact, that drove me crazy. Uh, neither one of those options works for me. So I'm still on the hunt. Today we're looking at the hidden travel wallet from Lewis and Clark. And this promises to be a good solution. This is an RFID blocking wallet that is designed to keep your personal info safe from electronic scanning that can rip your information right off of your documents without even having to be taken from you. The size is perfect for passports, credit cards, and your extra cash. It's constructed of a soft, durable fabric that they call Travel Dry, and it's uh, designed to lay against your skin underneath your uh, pants and to be cool and dry. So that's a nice touch. And you can, when you hold this, you can tell there's a difference between the part that goes against your skin and on this side, the rougher RFID fabric to protect, to protect your uh, info. On the top, you'll see that there are two loops, one in a brownish color and the other in black. And your belt is designed to go through there. And obviously, the idea is that it's supposed to match the belt color and be less obvious. I don't know how important that is, to be perfectly frank. Um, if you don't have either a brownish or a black belt on, that is going to be kind of self-defeating, but oh well. You'll notice that there's a zippered compartment, a main compartment, that's perfect for putting your passport in. And then up on the side here, there are two pockets, one in which I've got my cards, the other obviously could be more cards, plenty of space in there, or you could fold up some cash and put that in there also. So lots of space. Zip it closed. And then at the top up here, there's a, just a little pocket. You can push your zipper fob up in there and it makes it kind of stay in place. So, so it's not going to accidentally come loose. Now, obviously you have the choice of how you want to put this thing inside your pant. You can hang it from the side and tuck it in this way. You could have it a little bit more in front if you wish to. I think that this would be extremely uncomfortable having it here. I can see myself wanting to have it back here along the side and it would feel like there was, you know, kind of natural there right by your pocket. If you're like me, most of the time you have your shirt tail out. I would only use this for extra cash. Big bills, in case you needed more money. Uh, you know, it would be a real hassle to be pulling that out 
all of the time. If you were just, you know, small bills, trying to get a little bit of food, you know, stuff like that. Um, and besides, that would kind of defeat the purpose of, the, of it being hidden, wouldn't it, if you're yanking that out and, and trying to get to your money all the time. So um, this would be set aside um, your larger denominations and what have you, so you don't have to get into it all of the time. The Travel Hidden Waste Wallet from Lewis and Clark. If you like this kind of content, make sure you give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, click that subscribe button, and don't forget to click the bell icon so you'll be notified when we put up new stuff. Thanks so much for stopping by. We do appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.